welcome back everyone and welcome to the fourth episode of our video series about attracting, hiring and retaining top talent for your startup in Australia. In this episode, we're going to be covering three critical success factors when hiring. Let's go. So, as we mentioned in the previous episodes, one of the opportunities for your startup to attract ideal talent for your startup is actually to show and be proud of your company culture. People need to be really aligned and motivated about the solution you're proposing to change the world. People should be attracted working with you and your team as well as your early adopters to take your startups to the next level. I think this is the most important thing. So how do you show your company culture? You know, like I'm currently doing, doing a video talking about, you know, why you wake up in the morning. We want to know about you, the founder of the organization. We want to know about the key people in your team. We want to know about your customers. We want to know about your partners. We want to know how it looks like working with you. Where are you based? Are you working from home? Are you in a co-working space? Are you in an office tower? Where next? The second critical success factor is you know, thinking early about performance-based incentive. As we talked in the previous episode, you probably don't have the budget to pay people more than what they would earn in a corporate job. As you know, you compete with you know, a number of other employers in Australia that may have additional financial power. So it's very important that you think about medium to long-term rewards um, that will be more generous than what employees could earn in a corporate environment over term. So there are various ways to think about this. You know, you can think about employee stock options. You can think about performance-based bonuses. Another critical success factor and one of the topics we'll cover more in depth uh, in the next episodes is about having a robust recruitment process. If you followed the first episodes, you, you've seen your quotes about good talents are on demand and go fast. One of the examples very recently on some of the jobs uh, we've been assisting with, some of our clients with uh, international scale-ups in Australia. Their first, uh, their ideal choice didn't even go through the third interview round because he had another offer on the table with a start date the following week. If you don't move quickly enough and don't have a robust recruitment process, you may miss the ideal candidates and, as we mentioned earlier, hire the wrong person. Hiring the wrong person in your organization, especially in a small team, is the worst outcome. You will have not only lost time and money in the process, but actually this can have a really negative impact on your team morale, you know, and also send the wrong message to the market, to your shareholders, um, you know. So that's very, very important that you think through the recruitment process you're going to be using to deliver the right outcome for your startup. So thanks for following. In the next episode, we're going to be digging into what a robust recruitment process could look like. See you in the next episode. Thank you.